हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन दिस रोज ऑनलाइन प्रोजेक्ट रोज प्रोजेक्ट इज कंडक्टेड बाय रेयर शिक्षण संस्था सातारा सदगुरु गाडगे महाराज कॉलेज कराड माय सेल्फ इज पवार एस बी फ्रॉम एच एम कॉलेज कराड माय सब्जेक्ट इज बायोलॉजी सो टुडे वी विल अगेन डिस्कस द टॉपिक मोलिकुलर बेसिस of inheritance today's lecture number 8 uh, in previous lecture we can understand what is lac operon which structural gene uh, present uh, in the lac operon and what is genomics and what are the application of genomics okay so today in this lecture we will discuss the last uh, article that is human genome project and we also learn in this lecture that is the dna fingerprinting technique now see the first concept in this lecture that is human genome project hgp hgp that is human genome project the human genome project was initiated that is launched in 1990 under the international administration of the human genome organization this project was coordinated by us department of energy and national institute of the health human genome project formally begins in 1990 and was completed in 2003 the human genome project is a multinational research project mega project to determine the genomic structure of a human the main aims of the human genome project are mapping the entire human genome at the level of nucleotide sequences to store the information collected from the project in databases to develop tools and technique for analysis of data transfer of related technologies to the private sector such as industries taking care of legal ethical and social issues which may arise from project human genome project was closely associated with rapid development of a new area in biology it is known as a bioinformatics what is bioinformatics human genome project was closely associated with rapid development of a new area in biology it is known as a bioinformatics the work of human genome project has allowed researcher to begins to understand the blueprint in building and constructing the human genome as researchers learn more about the function of genes and proteins this knowledge will have a major impact in the field such as a medicine biotechnology and life sciences therefore human genome project is very uh, important project human genome project was to provide a complete and accurate sequences of the 3 billion dna base pairs that make up the human genome and to find out the estimated number of the human genes now about 33000 genes have been estimated to be present in humans the project was also aimed to sequence the genomes of several other organisms such as a bacteria for example e coli free living non pathogenic nematodes that is cyanorabidins 
illegal so and saccharomyces cerevisiae that is a yeast it is a fungal member and drosophila that is a fruit fly and tris arabidopsis and mus musculus that is a mouse okay and complete genome sequence of these model organism will be useful for the comparative studies that will allow researcher to study gene function in this organism so here watch this tabular form comparative genome size of human and other model organism uh, uh, it consists of four column first column indicate the name of organism second chromosome number third estimated gene number and fourth estimated size that is a uh, number of the base pair here first organism that is a human human being what is the scientific name of human homo sapiens it consists of 46 chromosome and it consists of estimated gene number that is 33000 and it consists of about 3 billion base pair then the second organism that is a mouse mouse musculus it consists of 40 chromosome estimated gene number is 25000 and it consists of about 2.9 million base pair third organism it is known as a fruit fly that is a drosophila million gaster it consists of eight chromosome number estimated gene number that is a 13000 and it consists of about 165 million base pair huh? then the fourth that is arabidopsis thaliana it consists of 10 chromosome estimated gene number 25000 and it consists of about 157 157 million base pair then the next organism it is known as a round worm sino rapidatis elegans it consists of 12 chromosome number 19000 estimated gene number and it consists of about 97 million base pair then the next organism is to what is the scientific name of is the saccharomyces cerevisiae this is the genus this is the species it consists of 32 chromosome number it consists of about 6000 estimated gene number and it consists of 12 million base pairs last organism that is a bacteria isertia coli it consists of one chromosome number estimated gene number is of 4400 and it consists of about 4.6 million in this way human genome project is very important and a mega project now see the next concept in this lecture that is a dna fingerprinting genes present on the chromosome are responsible for determining the character of the organism as well as for inheritance of character inheritance that is transmission of character from one generation to another generation and this inheritance uh, is uh, take place by the genes and these genes present on the chromosome okay due to the recombination of paternal and maternal gene will differ from our parent differences also arise due to infrequent mutation sudden change in gene is known as a mutation that occur during the gamete formation that is the cell division due to all these factor every individual has its unique genetic makeup which may be called it is fingerprint the technique developed to identify a person with the help of dna restriction analysis is known as a dna profiling or a dna fingerprinting what is dna fingerprinting the technique developed to identify a person 
with the help of a DNA restriction analysis is known as a DNA fingerprinting. The technique of DNA fingerprinting was first given by that is a discovered by British genetic sister that is Dr. Alex Zapris in 1984. DNA fingerprinting technique is based on identification of nucleotide sequence present in this wonder molecule. About 99.9 percentage of nucleotide sequence in all pair is seen. Only some short sequence of nucleotide differ from person to person. In the population, every person shows unusual sequences of 20 to 100 base pair, which are repeated several times. They are termed as a variable number of tandem repeats V and T R S variable number of tandem repeats. So, the length of the region having variable number of tandem repeats is different in each individual. Hence is the key factor in the DNA profiling. Now see which steps involve in a DNA fingerprinting. It consists of the seven steps. The first step is known as a isolation of a DNA. Okay. Second step, restriction digestion. For restriction digestion, restriction enzymes are used. Then the third step in DNA fingerprinting, that is the gel electrophoresis. Fourth, southern blotting. Fifth step, that is selection of a DNA probe. Sixth step, hybridization. And last step, it is known as a photography. Which step involve in DNA fingerprinting? First step, it is known as a isolation of DNA. Second step, it is known as a restriction digestion. Third step, it is known as a gel electrophoresis. Fourth step, it is known as a southern bloating. Fifth step, it is known as a selection of DNA probe. Uh, uh, sixth step, that is hybridization. And last step, that is a photography. Now see in detail the first step of DNA fingerprinting. That is isolation of DNA. Huh? It is the first step in the DNA fingerprinting. DNA must be recovered from the cell or the tissues of the body of the host. Only small amount of the tissue, for example, blood sample, hair root, root follicles, skin, etc. is a required. Now see the second step that is a restriction digestion. Restriction digestion, this process takes place by the restriction enzyme. Huh? The isolated DNA is treated with the restriction enzymes. The restriction enzyme cut the DNA that is a endonucleus cut DNA into the small fragment having a variable length. This phenomenon or this technique is known as a RFLP. What is the meaning of RFLP? Restriction, fragment, length, polymer polymorphism. In restriction digestion, restriction enzyme cut the DNA at a specific point into the small fragment having variable length. This phenomenon is known as a restriction fragment length polymorphism. Then see the third step of the DNA fingerprinting. It is known as a J electro Electrophoresis. What is the meaning of the gel electrophoresis? The DNA sample are loaded on agro gel. This is the important point for MCQ. For gel electrophoresis, huh? which gel is used? Agro gel. Agro gel electrophoresis under an electric influence. The DNA fragment which are negatively charged move. To the positive pole. 
the moment of this fragment depends on the length of the fragment this result in the formation of the bands that is double stranded dna is splits into single stranded dna by alkali treatment now see the next step that is a southern floating the separated dna fragment are transferred to nylon membrane or it is also transferred to nitro cellulose filter paper by placing it over the chain and soaking them with the filter paper overnight then see the next step that is the selection of dna probe a known sequence of single stranded dna is prepared it is called the dna probe what is dna probe known sequence of the single stranded a dna is known as a dna probe dna probe is obtained from the organism or prepared by the dna preparation method the dna probe is labeled with radioactive isotopes okay then then the next step that is the hybridization probe dna is added to nitrocellulose filter paper containing host dna thus the single stranded dna probe pair with the complementary base sequence of the host uh, dna strand as a result dna dna hybrid are formed on the nitrocellulose filter paper and remaining single stranded rna pro fragment are washed off then the photography method take place the film is analyzed to determine the presence of the hybrid dna the nitrocellulose filter paper is photographed on x ray film by photo radiography so see the diagrammatic representation of dna fingerprinting dna fingerprinting consists of various steps the first step that is the isolation of the dna or a dna extraction uh, from uh, dna sample uh, isolation isolated purified dna is obtained then restriction digestion technique take place by the using restriction enzyme dna molecule cut at the specific point into the smaller fragments then the electrophoresis uh, 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 process take place then the southern bloating also take place transfer of dna to the membrane and then single stranded uh, dna probe is selected hybridization of the dna take place and in the last step, uh, step that is the photography uh, for the uh, uh, x-ray uh, the new uh, dna copies available so this is the technique of the dna fingerprinting now see the application of the dna fingerprinting in forensic science dna fingerprinting is used to solve the problem of the rape and some complicated murder cases dna fingerprinting is used to find out biological father or mother or both of the child in case of the disputed parentage okay and dna fingerprinting is used in pedigree analysis in cats dog horses and humans uh, in this way we learn the important term that is a dna fingerprinting which step involved in dna fingerprinting what are the applications of the dna fingerprinting uh, thank you for watching this lecture